Welcome to the Game Audio Resource Wise and Unreal Audio Implementation Guide series. In this guide, we expand on the pipeline used in Chapter 04B so that we can control the velocity of the player character footsteps and armor volumes. This allows for a more natural weighted volume depending on the player character's speed of movement. Before we can set up the Wise RTPC, we need to know what speed the player character moves at. To do this, we update the AnimBP to display on screen the velocity speed of the player character when the player character moves. Open the AnimBP. In the event graph, next to the set is moving comment box, right click the graph, then in the search box type print string. Selecting it adds it to the graph. Connect the print string node to the set is moving node. Then connect the print string node in string input to the vector length return value output. This will create a conversion node. Compile and save the blueprint. Then play the map. You will now see that 0.0, .0 is displayed in the left of the screen. When the player character moves, the value will change. Short quick movements seem to occur around 0 to 300. Full speed character movement appears to have a value of around 600. Print strings are very useful for many parts of WISE data to confirm if the correct values are being passed out to WISE correctly. For example, if we add a print string to the get surface type function, the different surface types being called by the game will be displayed on screen. In this step, we add to the WISE data we implemented in Chapter 04B. Using a game parameter, we control the volume of the player character footsteps and the armor audio content via an RTPC. Navigate to the Game Syncs tab. Game Parameters, Default Work Unit. Right click the Default Work Unit, then select New Child, Game Parameter. Name it GP underscore character underscore speed. Double click the Game Parameter to view its properties. Under Range, add the following changes. Change the max value to 1000, change default value to zero, and leave the min value at zero. Navigate to the audio tab, CHA underscore FSP underscore human switch container. With the switch container selected, in the RTPC tab, under the RTPC list, select the first arrow UI button, then select voice volume. On the same entry line, select the new second arrow UI button, then select game parameter GP underscore character underscore speed. In the graph, add the following updates to the red line. Move the start marker to x equals 0 and y equals minus 8. Add a point marker on the red line, then move it to x equals 75 and y equals minus 8. And add a point marker on the red line, then move it to x equals 600 and y equals 0. Now add the exact same RTPC settings to the CHA underscore ARM underscore leather underscore run underscore fast random container that we implemented in chapter 04A. If you would also like to adjust either the high or the low EQ properties of the audio assets for the slow speeds, you can add the same above process, but instead of using an RTPC voice volume, use either a voice high pass filter or a voice low pass filter. Save the WISE project updates, then generate the WISE sound banks. Next, we add further blueprint nodes to the AnimBP, expanding on the pipeline we implemented in Chapter 04B, allowing for player character footstep velocity control via the new game parameter RTPC we have implemented into WISE. Open the AnimBP. In the Event Graph tab, Locate the anim notify underscore anim underscore sfx underscore cus underscore fsp underscore human event node. Break the line that connects to the get surface type node. Then move the sfx footstep anim notify event comment box and containing nodes to the right so you have some space to add new velocity updates. Right click the graph. Then in the search box type set rtpc value. In the set rtpc value node, in the RTPC box, add the new WISE name of the new game parameter GP underscore character underscore speed. The name entered must match the WISE game parameter name exactly. Then connect the following nodes together. 
and in Notify Footstep Event Node to Set RTPC Value Node. Set RTPC Value Node to Get Surface Tied Node. Then Vector Length Node to Set RTPC Value, Value Input. Mouse drag a box around the RTPC node, then press C on your keyboard. In the comments box, type SFX character speed dash footstep. Save and compile the blueprint. Then generate the Unreal sound banks. Then finally import the sound bank updates. Now we can test the new RTPC updates in game. Connect wires to Unreal. Then change the wires layout profiler. Filter the profiler log by the footstep content. Also solo the associated footstep content in wise. Now play the map. Move the player character around the map. Moving from idle to full speeds, you should hear the armor and the footstep audio content rise in volume. Also, as the player character comes to a stop, you should hear the associated audio content reduce in volume. This gives a more natural weight of the associated audio content. Try moving the player character short distances. The velocity speed will not likely go above 300, so the volume will stay low, giving a sense of a lighter weight. Make any balancing changes you wish to add, then disconnect wires to Unreal. Save the wires project updates, then generate the wires sound banks. Lastly, generate the Unreal sound banks. This guide hopefully gives you an insight to how a basic RTPC can be implemented.